Hello everybody, and uh, day four of our Q&A, and um, can you see the lovely Christmas lights behind me? Artso knew I was about to record a Q&A out here, and he came out with all these lights and said we should put these behind you. So that's very, very sweet of him. And um, before we do the Q&A, I thought we'd go and say hello to them. They're next door uh, mixing, so let's just pop in and say hello to them in the studio through here. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> this is what you just mixed, right? Yes. Yeah, and this is no mastering. No mastering, but but finished mix of a song called <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. And what's the song about, Devil? The song is about Atzo shuffling the snow in front of his house <laughs> all day long. So plug in some old shuffle. <laughs> well, very nice to see you. It's Thank about you live today and love your life, baby. Very good, yeah. very good. Or a Christmas service on LSD. And now just, just a second. It's not, it's not all so sweet. Then it comes to if you want to know. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I I said Christmas service in there, but I actually did say it sounds a little bit like a church service on LSD. Uh, that song, Sunday. Sorry, I'm back. We had a bit of a computer shutdown. The energetics have been quite strong here today, and I'm very sleep deprived. Um, so who knows what's going on? But to today's questions, um, Tony. Uh, I love Snatham Cower, a brilliant choice, that's referring to yesterday's Q&A. I agree, she's amazing, isn't she? Um, thank you for answering my question. I attended your workshop in Boulder and had the pleasure of witnessing your singing, chirp toning live. I enjoyed it immensely. I look forward to your new album. Thank you. I remember you and it was you and your two sisters. You were amazing beings, so thank you. Um, how do you create balance between your music work and energy work? Um, you work a lot, <laughs> um, and I, I, yeah, I just like to do this album. Uh, I've done it alongside all of my other work, and my energy work's a pretty full time job. Um, so you just you just work more um, for the periods of time needed. Um, so yeah, I think it's the same as anything really. You just have to keep your eye on your own energy levels, and if you're getting a little bit fried, step back. So um, in an odd way, I think because the two are quite they're similar but they're different my experience of doing music is much more uh, my own energy field and higher energy fields and my experience of doing energy work is a, to some degree my own energy field but used more higher energy fields and the energy fields of other people so it's actually quite balancing for me to do the two because doing music allows me to come back into my own alignment without necessarily using my own alignment to help others with theirs. So it's uh, it kind of balances itself in that way. Um, Gloria, your adventures in sound has been very powerful and stunning. I'm a natural healer and I noticed the vibration of sound is the most powerful means of healing. The sound vibration also brings me away. It's for that I said I love so much to listen to the sound of your voice, whatever sound you're doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so what do you feel most as a flow of intuitive creation? What comes to you easily, the sound or the lyrics? Definitely music and sound. Lyrics um, can sometimes, as I think I said yesterday or the day before, sometimes you have to then craft lyrics afterwards, but sound and music for me is instantly accessible. Um, is there some kind of environment in which you feel more inspired or some particular mood for lyrics or for the music? I write a lot between midnight and 4 a.m., so when we were conceiving the album, I had a lot of late nights and I would be writing the songs at 2 a.m. I find when the world is really quiet, it's easier in a, in a way. Um, and then for doing things like vocals, 
I, when we did all the lead vocals for this album, I always had candles in the studio. Um, or I like lights like this. I like to create atmosphere, and lighting is very important to me. Um, so something that has a kind of magical feel to it can help me access the magic. So those external references can help me access the kind of inner magic. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed Adventures in Sound. Thanks, Gloria. And I remember sending you signed CDs. So thank you for all your support over the years. You've been amazing with me and my music. Um, Diane, on your overlays, do you use reverberation and echo? If not, would you consider it? Yes, we do. Um, Golden World used a lot of reverb. Uh, this album is using reverb and echo, but not too dominantly on the leads. The leads were leaving a lot more raw than we've ever left before, but then there's such a padding of sound behind it and some of the BVs, the backing vocals, have reverb that it creates a kind of warmth. And on Adventures in Sound, I used, I used, I think on every single track there was some reverb and some echo and what I tried to do with Adventures in Sound was um, play with the echoes and reverbs to create as much balance and room within it because when you've got four voices all in there doing different things at the same time as I did have with Adventures in Sound, having an effect on that moves one sound from left to right while the other sound is in the centre and it's reverbed and then this sound is delayed. Um, what I was doing when I was mixing Adventures in Sound was listening for a synergy between the um, sonics of what my voice had recorded but what the technological effects could do to help create an energy space for the listener. So, um, yes. Matty, how do we as musicians focus healing energy through our music? Is it frequency, notes, pitch or tuning relationship? Would love to learn more. Thanks. Honestly, I don't think there is one rule. I think it's... Um, really depends on who you are and where you're at in the process. Uh, so, for example, there are things I used to focus on that I don't need to focus on anymore because they're so ingrained in me. So, for example, I shared that Inventures and Sound for me was incredibly quick, but maybe it wouldn't, it probably wouldn't have been five years ago. Um, but because I think I've used my voice so much now in the last uh, eight years to produce sound and words for expansion, it was easy to then, as a singer, just allow something to come through. Um, but, for example, I would say go where you're drawn. So if you feel you want to develop and, and there's an area that you recognise, maybe pitch you're not so good at, or frequency, or, you know, or notes rather, I would just go where you feel drawn. And I think, for all of us as creators, there's always a new thing to learn. So um, I think you've just got to keep always experimenting. But... Healing energy through our music, I think, is a natural thing. And I think it's important to remember how important human imperfection is. Because um, I remember years ago, I would probably have thought to myself, oh, I must create some healing music and it must be perfect and eth ethereal. And, and actually, now I don't feel that way. It's like with Adventures in Sound, there was no repetition of anything on that piece. Uh, you know, I didn't redo anything. Um, and, and I think the spirits in the human with the imperfections anyway so I think you could just hold an intention you could basically if you're about to record something or sing something just hold an intention that the highest vibration will come through you in that moment and the highest vibration on one day might be different to another day but I've learnt as a producer and a creator of things it's not always my place to know how it's going to affect the audience or to be the best person to know what the frequency of what I'm putting out there is in a way, you kind of have to surrender. So I think if it feels good in your body and you feel like there was an opening, that's that's your barometer. Um, Laura Lee, I'm so happy you enjoyed working on Adventures in Sound and look forward very much to more. Thank you. Um, I would love to hear about the overall messages of the new album and songs. <sighs> love, really. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it's 15 songs and Devorah and I were just talking about it today and we said all of them are really transformational, not just... In lyrics necessarily but they they really he he said it really well he said every song draws you in with intimacy at the beginning and then they build and grow and open out and it's true a lot of the songs build and build and build so that by the end of it it's like um, so I would say the themes are love I'll just run through a few songs freedom and slavery um, both on an inner level and in our world right now, those areas of slavery that are invisible to us, that are being put around us and that we're, you know, complicit with. Um, 
relationships so um separation and attachment in relationships and where golden world focused that a bit more romantically this is a bit more universal so yes there's a couple of you could say romantic uh, relationship songs on there but actually things like my friend are very much about i think what a lot of people have gone through in the last few years where they've lost people in their lives or moved on and so some of that's in there but there's a lot of joy and a lot of play there are five very dancey songs um, and then five kind of medium and then five ballads um, so yeah um, do you feel coincidences that were connected to the songs and reoccurring in your daily life um, yes which is really funny because I've always noticed songs can be prophetic and the other day we were listening to the mix of a song called Within and we were driving down the, down, down the hill going back to Ljubljana from where we are in the country and it was snowing and it's snowing pretty heavily the last few days and we're listening to the final mix of what we'd worked on all day and the lyrics go a land of snow warms from inside and peace carries every gentle float on a silent snowflake ride and you know you're just listening to what you've done and checking it and kind of going okay yeah this does this is this the right is this the final mix and um i suddenly went devil because it was like there were snowflakes and so things like that are happening all the time and i think that's the test of a good song or good writing it should be able to find you in any moment and it should be able to move with you through the years so um a lot of coincidences uh, happen around the music and this album has felt very carried um even my life here in Ljubljana i get very helped and um you know i people help me here um and i i don't see that as for me i see that as for the album i understand that i'm here in service to something that we're creating that has an energy that's supposed to carry beyond this time and so therefore those of us involved with it have been very supported and I feel that angelic help a lot. Um, let's see, uh, you, you've you also asked about do I use healing crystals when exploring my creativity? I use crystals all the time with my energy work, I hold them when I'm working with people and everything so um, so yeah, so thanks Laura Lee. Um, Asha, would you listen to my song? I get asked all the time, would I read people's books, would I listen to their albums, and, 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 and actually also people will then want my response or my answers, and um, the truth is I just can't do that and do everything I do. So I would love to listen to your song, and if you want to post it on the Lee Harris Music page, please go ahead and I, I will listen to it. I just can't commit to answering everybody, because um, especially when I'm doing the album and the energy work at the same time, I don't have very much free time at all while I'm doing this, so um, I'd, I'd love to listen, and uh, I'm sure some of the other people on the wall uh, would too, so feel free to post it there and I will definitely have a listen. Um, Danielle. I've been working with Adventures in Sound and have found it to be a powerful tool to shift my energy. That's great. I listened to it last night before sleep and found I could not sleep all night, even with sleeping aid. I didn't know if it was just me or the energy was very intense last night. Do you recommend not listening to it in the PM? Is Adventures in Sound your expression of light language? You have an amazing voice. Thank you. That was very sweet. Um, well, I think the energy is intense at the moment anyway, and I think I've heard some people who can't sleep, uh, me included, because of different reasons. Um, I think follow your instinct. It, you know, you might want to try listening to it in the day next time, but I also think sometimes these things activate you once and then they calm down. So I'd be surprised if you were listening to it every night for a few nights in a row, if it would be having the same effect on you every time. Um, but follow your instinct on that. Um, and is it my expression of light language? I guess so, but I guess my understanding of light language is I, I saw Jamie Price on Spirit Library once doing light language and I've seen other channelers and it, so I guess it's sound language. If I'm, I guess the word I would put on it is it's my expression of sound language because there aren't words, um, but yeah, sound is light, so um, I guess so. Um, I hadn't really consciously thought of it that way, but I guess so. Um, Donna, I too just found you, Lee. If you're on this path, you find what you need to, right? Yes. Uh, do you plan on a tour in America with the album you're developing? Um, totally. We really want to tour. We've made this is a big album, and we've made it to be big. And our our vision of it and our, our dream for it would be that we get to take it around the world. So not just America, but that you know, if there is enough presence of this album in the world, uh, then we will take it around the world um, if we can. So um, so thank you. So that's all for today i will do some more tomorrow so if uh i've got some more left but um you're welcome to put some more up 
Um, thanks for tuning in. It's really sweet to connect with you on this and to have you be a part of the daily experience. I appreciate it. And um, I appreciate your appreciation of it as well. So it's a very shared experience for me. Big love, everybody. See you soon. Sound alone, dear. We'll slow.